hi slim stars you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please do all to subscribe down below and join the slim family in today's video guys i'm going to show you how to draft cut and sew a blazer from start to finish this is literally the easiest method you're going to find on the internet so if you want to see how we do this definitely keep on watching oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> Now we're going to start off by drafting the back piece. The first thing I did was to divide the shoulder measurement by 2 and then I marked that on the baseline. Now I went down from that shoulder point by 1 inch in order to create my shoulder slope. For the neck width, I'm using 3 inches, okay, for the neck width. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that neck width to that 1 inch mark in order to create my shoulder slope. Now from the shoulder there, I'm just marking the bust point which is 11 inches and I'm marking the waistline which is 18 inches. Now the length of this dress is, this blazer rather, is 28 inches. Okay, so just go ahead and mark your desired length. Now what I'm doing is I'm extending all those lines. Now to get the armhole line or the chest line, I'm going to go up from the bust point by 2 inches. And that gave me 9 inches, okay? So I'm going ahead to just extend that line. Now, what I mark, what I marked on my shoulder, which is seven inches, the same thing I'm marking on my armhole line, and I'm connecting that to my shoulder slope. Now I'm labeling all the lines: chest line, bust point, waistline, and full length. Now I'm dividing the bust circumference by four, and I'm marking that on the chest line. Now I'm going to measure what I have from the shoulder slope to the chest line, and I'm going to get the midpoint of that. Now, from that midpoint, I'm going to connect that with a curve to the point I marked on my chest line to give me the armhole line for the back. Now, in order to create my darts for this blazer, I'm just marking the bust span divided by 2, which is 4 inches. So, the bust span is 8 inches divided by 2. That gave me 4 inches. So, I'm marking that from the edge of the paper. Now, at the waistline, I went in by half an inch on both sides. And then, I'm connecting this to the bust point, as you can see. And I'm also connecting this to the full length line. If you notice, I didn't connect this all the way to the chest line. Okay, so take note of that. Now, at the waistline, I'm going to go in by half an inch. Just so that there is no folding at the back. And I'm going to connect this up to the bust point and down to the full length line. I'm just adding one inch allowance at the chest line. Now... At the waistline, I'm dividing the waist measurement by 4, marking that on the waistline and I'm adding that, that allowance, okay? And I'm also adding an extra 1 inch allowance for sewing. At the full length line, I'm dividing the hip circumference by 4, marking that and then I'm adding 1 inch allowance to that. And then I'm connecting all those lines together. Now, in order to make the sides curved, I'm just going up by half an inch and then I'm connecting that back to the rest of the hemline with a curve. Now, for the depth of my neckline, I'm just going down by two inches and then I'm drawing that curve to connect to the width of my neckline. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the width of my shoulder and divide what I have there by 2. I'm going to mark that on the shoulder and I'm going to connect that to the darts. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it out. Now I want to mention that when you're making a blazer, you want to increase your shoulder width just a bit. Okay, so the measurement of your shoulder, maybe say, let's say if your shoulder is 14 inches, when you're making a blazer, you want to make it 15 inches or 16 inches, okay? So that's very, very important. So I'm going to have to cut out the piece and this is my back piece all done. I'm also going to go ahead and cut out the dart to separate my back piece into two. So just go ahead and cut out the dart and also cut along that line all the way up to the shoulder. Now we're going to label our pieces center back one and side back one. Now moving on to the front piece of our blazer. The first thing I'm going to do is mark four inches from the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to connect 
all those points together now this is going to serve as our new center front okay all our measurements are going to start from this line here now at the top of my paper i'm going to draw my baseline okay now i'm going to divide the shoulder measurement by two and i'm going to mark that on the base on the baseline rather and then at the shoulder point there i'm going to come down by one inch i'm going to mark my neck width just like the front front which is three inches and then i'm going to connect that to the shoulder slope just the same thing we did for the back piece we're doing the same thing now for the front piece i'm also going to mark the armhole line nine inches bust point 11 inches um waistline 18 inches and length 28 inches okay i'm just going ahead now to label all those lines just like we did for the front for the back piece now i'm going to measure what i have at the shoulder there and i'm going to mark that same thing on the chest line or the armhole line now i'm connecting this up to the shoulder slope and then i'm dividing the bust circumference by four marking that on the chest line there and then i'm measuring what i have here from the shoulder slope to the chest line and i'm getting that midpoint okay at that midpoint i'm going in by half an inch remember that for the back piece we did not go in by half an inch because that was the back now i'm going to connect all those points to create our armhole curve now for the dots i'm going in by four inches okay which is the bust span divided by two and i'm marking this from the bust point to the full length okay at the waistline i'm going in by half an inch or i'm going out by half an inch on both sides now at the bust point i'm coming down by one inch this is not something we did for the back piece remember and at the full length i'm going up by one inch as well we also did not do this for the back piece so take notes now i'm just connecting all those points to create my darts now i'm going to add one inch to the bust circumference at the chest line on the waistline i'm dividing the waist measurements by four marking that on the waistline i'm also going to go ahead and measure my dart and replace that dart measurement and also add an extra one inch sewing allowance at the full length line i'm dividing the hip circumference by four i'm marking that on the full length line and i'm adding one inch sewing allowance and then the next thing i'll do now is connect all those points together the same thing we did for the back piece i'm going up by half inch at that full length and then i'm just drawing a curve to connect it to the rest of the hem for the depth of my neckline i'm going down by three inches remember that for the back we use two inches for the depth but for the front is three inches and i'm just drawing a curve to connect that to the width to create my neckline i'm measuring what i have on my shoulder and i'm getting that midpoint and i'm going to draw a line to connect that to my darts now in order to create our lapel i'm going to go out from that line i marked by one inch okay so just go out by one inch all the way and then connect that all the way down to you know the full length of your blazer after that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go out at the neckline there by half an inch okay so just go out by half an inch and then connect this with a diagonal line all the way to the waistline now once we're done that we're going to go ahead and cancel out the first line we marked now I'll draw a diagonal line from the neck width there all the way to the waistline so this here becomes our lapel okay so that part we have there becomes our lapel now we're going to go ahead and just cut along the outline of this piece to get our front piece all done now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to label our pieces this is center front one and and side front two okay Now I'm going to go ahead and cut open the pieces. I'm going to go ahead and take out the dart as you're seeing here. So just cut the pieces so you can separate them into two pieces. 
make sure you cut out the darts and then also cut along that line that connects the darts to the shoulder and that will separate your front piece into two pieces moving on to draft our sleeve first thing we're doing is marking the baseline then we're going to divide the shoulder by two and mark that on the baseline from the baseline they are going to come down by six inches now if this was a regular sleeve not a blazer sleeve would have come down by four or five inches but since this is a blazer we're going to come down by six inches and then we're going to extend that line now i'm just going to divide that shoulder measurement by two so that measurement i have at the baseline i'll divide it by two and mark the midpoint okay now measuring from the baseline to the first line we have there i'm going to get that midpoint there which is three inches and then we're going to divide the round sleeve by two and mark that on that line and we're going to add 1.5 inches allowance now we're going to go ahead and connect these points with a curve okay now the length of my sleeve is 25 inches so i'm just going to mark that and then extend that line as well now on that um hemline i'm going to divide the wrist measurement by two i'm marking that and then i'm adding one inch allowance to that now measure the distance from you know that round sleeve line all the way to the hemline and i'm going to get the midpoint and then i'm also going to extend that line as well now on this line i'll divide the elbow measurements by two mark that and i'm going to add one inch allowance and then i'm going to go ahead and connect all those points together with a straight line and that's it for our sleeve very very simple so i'm just going to go ahead and cut along the curve and also cut along the rest of the outline of the sleeve now moving on to the sewing we we'll first of all cut all our pieces as you can see i've cut all my pieces and i left half inch allowance on all the pieces okay half inch allowance all round i've cut it both on my lining and on my fabric i also used hair stay to gum both the lining and the fabric okay so can you see all the pieces have been cut out with half inch around you know the pattern pieces and i've also used hair stay to gum all of them now for all these pieces i cut the fabric pieces with with my fabric and i cut the lining pieces with the lining okay and i cut two pieces of each so two pieces of the fabric and two pieces of the lining for each of them now the only one that i did not do that is the center front piece this is my center front piece right here for this one i cut both the fabric and the lining using the fabric okay now i did this so that when the lapel collar folds open it shows the fabric okay and not the lining now we're going to start off with our front pieces so i'm just putting all the other pieces aside so these are my front pieces as you can see like i said i've gone them with heste heste is called is also called an interfacing now i'm placing the side front and center front pieces together and i'm going to join them together okay i'm going to place the other pieces together the other side front and center front pieces and i'm going to join them together so after joining them this is what we have i've gone ahead to open up the allowance the seam allowance and i've ironed it flat okay look at how neat it looks now moving on to my back pieces these are my two center back pieces i'm going to place them right sides facing and i'm going to join them together okay now after joining the center back pieces i'm going to place the side back piece okay on the center back pieces and i'm going to join them together after doing that i'm going to place the second side back piece on the center back piece and i'm going to join it together as well making sure that the right sides facing the right sides are facing so after joining them this is what we have i've gone ahead to iron the allowance open the allowance and iron it flat this is what it looks like now i'm going to place the front pieces on the back piece with the right sides facing each other and then i'm going to join them at the shoulders like so and i'm also going to join them at the side with one inch seam allowance okay so after that this is what we have 
now i'm going to go ahead and trim off about quarter of an inch from the front armhole only okay so just trim out trim out about quarter of an inch from the front armhole armhole only just so that it has a very good fitting okay now since i've trimmed the armhole of my blazer i have to also trim the sleeve as well now these are the fabric pieces i've gone ahead to notch the center of the sleeve as you can see like this and then i'm placing them with the wrong sides facing each other now i'm going to take one side to serve as you know the part i'm going to trim and i'm just trimming out about quarter of an inch off that part of the sleeve as you can see so just trim only one side and then once you're done trimming go ahead and mark that side you trimmed so that you don't get confused okay so i've gone ahead to do this on my fabric pieces now i'm going to place my lining pieces wrong sides facing as you can see like this and then i'm going to use the fabric this fabric sleeve that i've just trimmed to trim the lining as well okay so i'm just using the fabric to trim the lining the same way i did earlier and then i'm also marking the part that i trimmed as well now i'm also going to go ahead and fold my sleeve as you can see and then i'm going to join it with about one inch allowance okay this is what my sleeve looks like once i've joined it with one inch allowance now i'm going to go ahead and turn my sleeve to the right side okay same thing with the other one turn it to the right side And now I'm going to go ahead and attach my sleeve to, you know, the fabric piece of my blazer. So this part where I marked for the front armhole, okay, you want to pay attention to it. So when you in, put in your, your sleeve into the armhole, you want to pay attention to that part that you marked, okay? So if I place it in this way, it, as you can see, when I placed it in, you, you saw that the marking was not facing where I have my front armhole so i'm going to try again with a different with the second sleeve okay i'll just pass it through okay can you see how i passed it through the armhole now as you can see this one here this particular sleeve actually fits this armhole because the part that i marked on the sleeve aligns with the front armhole okay so the first thing i'll do is to open up the seam allowances and i'm going to pin them together so I'm pinning the sleeve to, you know, the blazer. So can you see the marking for the front? As you can see, the marking for the front aligns with the front um, armhole. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and pin the sleeve to the blazer all the way around. Okay. So just go ahead and pin it all the way around. You want to also pin the top as well and once you're done pinning it the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and sew it round okay so just go ahead and sew it all the way around do the same thing for both sleeves so after sewing it this is what my fabric piece looks like i've gone ahead to do the same thing for my lining piece this right here is my lining piece i also went ahead to attach my cloth label at the top of the lining piece right here now we want to go ahead and attach our shoulder pads this is optional you don't have to do this but i've chosen to do this now my shoulder pad is about quarter inch wide i got this at the you know tailoring supply store so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to mark the midpoint of my shoulder pad once i fold it then i'm going to mark four inches from the bottom i'm going to mark four inches all the way and I'll keep moving my tape and I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm marking this four inches from that center that I marked at the bottom. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and just cut along that curve, okay? And then I'll do the same thing for the other shoulder pad as well. I'll use the first one I cut as a template to just trim the other one. Now after trimming it, this is what we have. Can you see? Now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just try to reduce the width of this piece okay remember that i measured it and it was quarter of an inch so i'm just trying to trim it a bit just so that it has a very flat edge okay 
so after doing that what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to mark that midpoint with a straight line and then i'm going to take my lining piece this is my lining piece right here now i'm going to take note of that shoulder line this is the shoulder line here now the the line the line i marked on my shoulder pad has to align with my shoulder line and then the edge of you know my shoulder pad has to align with the allowance of my sleeve okay so i'm just pinning it like that and then i'm also pinning the edge of my shoulder pad to the allowance to the allowance of my sleeve like so okay just watch the way i'm attaching it and do the same pin the you know the edge of the shoulder pad to the allowance of the sleeve on both sides okay so now after pinning it what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and turn this now to the right side then i'm going to sew along that shoulder line just make sure to sew along that shoulder line and then also go ahead and tack this piece to you know the allowance just the same way you pinned it okay so after doing that this is what we have i've sewn it at the shoulder and i've tacked it to the sleeve allowance just the same way i pinned it okay this is how neat it looks so go ahead and do the same for both shoulders when you turn this to the front this is what it's going to look this is how it's going to look look at how lovely it looks now this is the fabric piece of my blazer i'm going to fold it like so fold it by joining the two front necklines together and then i'm going to go ahead and mark 2.5 inches from the edge there okay mark 2.5 inches from the edge and go ahead and notch that point so what we're trying to do now is we're trying to cut the collar of our blazer okay so i've gone ahead to notch it as you can see i'm going to do the same thing for the lining piece go ahead and fold it like so and then mark 2.5 inches from the edge and mark that point there we're also going to go ahead and notch that point so just fold it and then just create a tiny notch there now we're going to open our piece like so now we're going to go ahead and measure from one notch to the other notch okay so measure from one notch the notch at the left measure all the way to the notch at the right now after i measured what i got was 16 inches now i'm going to take my fabric i'll fold it lengthwise and widthwise now divide that six inches i marked i measured by two and then i'm going to mark that so i marked eight inches for mine and then from that eight inch mark i'm going to go out by half an inch okay and then i'm going to go up from the bottom by 2.5 inches and connect that back down to the bottom on the left side and i'm going to go up by 3.5 inches okay and then i'm going to connect that to the point on the right side after doing that i'm going to go out again by half an inch at the bottom and then connect that to the top right there so what we're doing now is like i said we're trying to create our collar okay now i'm going to go ahead and cut that out after cutting that out i'm going to open this up and then i'm going to gum it with hair stair okay or interfacing so i've gone ahead to do that as you can see now i'm going to fold this with the right side facing each other then i'm going to close the ends okay so just close the end with about quarter inch seam allowance so after that i'm going to turn this to the right side okay this is what it looks like once i've turned this to the right side then i'm going to iron it flat okay now i'm going to take my fabric piece i'm going to fold my collar again and then i'm going to get the midpoint and i'm going to notch that midpoint okay so notch the midpoint make sure that your fabric piece the fabric of your blazer as the fabric piece of your blazer is facing make sure that the right side is facing upwards now place the lining of your blazer on the piece 
making sure that the lining and the fabric are facing each other right sides facing now make sure that the midpoint of your collar aligns with the midpoint of your fabric and your lining now go ahead and pin all three pieces together all the way to the end okay so pin from the center to the right side and from the center to the left side okay so once you're done pinning we we'll just go ahead and join all three pieces with quarter of an inch seam allowance so after joining it we're going to go ahead and create tiny notches all along that allowance as you see me doing right now so just create tiny tiny notches all along that allowance and once we're done we're going to go ahead and fold our piece like so so just fold it like this and then i'm going to go ahead and create a curve this is the front piece okay make sure that this is the front piece that you're cutting so just create a nice curve at the bottom this is optional but it gives a very very lovely look but you don't have to do it okay it's optional so once we're done with that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the sleeve of our lining and then we're going to go ahead and put it into the sleeve of our fabric okay so just watch what i'm doing put it into the sleeve of the fabric and then bring out that sleeve okay just like i'm doing right now put the sleeve of the lining into the sleeve of the fabric okay now we'll do the same thing for the other side as well so just watch me do it again so take the lining sleeve and then put it into the sleeve of the fabric okay so just go ahead now and just arrange your piece now i went ahead to leave an opening at the center back of my piece right here about five inches wide now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sew all the way around okay so from that opening i left after sewing all the way around i'm going to turn out my piece to the right side and then once we turn it to the right side go ahead and put in the lining sleeve into the fabric sleeve again okay you have to do it again so put in the lining sleeve into the fabric sleeve okay and then go ahead and close up that space that you left open okay so just close this by top stitching now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this a very good press and then we're going to go ahead and finish off our sleeve so to finish off the sleeve what you want to do is just fold the lining in and fold the fabric in like this and then just go ahead and pin it so keep folding you know both pieces in and then just pin it down okay do that all the way around and then go ahead and sew the piece all the way around is about quarter of an inch allowance and this is the finished look guys i really really love how this blazer turned out if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe bye guys